from California. What's up, buddy? Yeah, uh, long-time listener and admirer from uh, Santa Rosa, California, you okay, know, where all the fires you. and the wine country. Yes. Uh, yeah, well, uh, uh, here's the irony, Mike. Tell me if I'm wrong. If Joe Girardi uh, had been let go last year instead of this one and some newbie like Jay Bell or Jerry Harrison had come in and won over 90 games and got within a game of the World Series with the exact same team, that manager would have been hailed as the next messiah. They would have been ticker tape parades for this guy. Absolutely true. Yet, yet even though it was one of Joe's best managing jobs, and, he, and, and actually the kids, the kids especially played for him, Right. Um, he, he gets unceremoniously I think stuff, what I happened, think- Audie, is this. His contract, which was a four-year contract, expired at an inopportune time for the Yankees. It expired off one of his best jobs, one of his best years. So it's just the way it worked out. Now, it would have been interesting, highly interesting. And even, you know, and even Joe even didn't even have a problem answering the hypothetical. If they had gone to the World Series, and they're one game from the World Series, if they had gone to the World Series, Cash couldn't have fired him. He wouldn't have fired him. Exactly. Now, I don't know how many years he would have given him. Maybe they would have had a trouble on a contract. Maybe Joe would have wanted four and they would have only offered him two years. Or maybe, you know, they would have tried to offer him a year by year. I don't know how they would have, if they weren't happy with him, but they had to bring him back. But the World Series would have changed everything. Because you're firing a guy off a year when he takes a team. Now, think about this. This guy's here 10 years. He's the winningest manager in baseball for the last 10 years by percentage. And you're taking a guy who comes off a year when the number of wins his team was supposed to win was 82. He goes to the seventh game of the ALCS, and you get rid of him. So the you know, you're know you not getting rid of him because of performance. The guy overachieved this year. So from that standpoint, it's a rough year to get rid of him, but it's the end of a cycle, so this is the only thing they can do. But what it does is it puts – it puts uh, it clearly puts – Cash on, on a little bit of the hot seat. That's all because he's got to, you know, he can't have a guy come in and flop. And if he. Right. And, so, in other words, it, 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 did it kind of force their. It would have forced their hand had he won the World Series. I think they would have had to bring him back. Stuck with him? I think they would have been stuck with him, yes. I think if they, they couldn't have gotten rid of him. I don't think they could have gotten rid of him. I, I don't think they could have. That's, that, you know, it'd be very difficult to do. I think it was hard to do anyway. <laughs> 